The life of a student can quickly become overwhelming if you don't have the right systems in place. You have to keep track of your classes, studies, exams, assignments, you have things to do, rent to pay, subscriptions to manage, jobs to apply for and the list just continues. What you need isn't more time or less work. It's a simple life management system that's easy and enjoyable to use. And this is where the student OS dashboard comes in. Inside the dashboard you'll find a section for all your different classes, upcoming assessments, a spaced repetition tracker for your flashcards and a to-do list with a calendar so you can stop prioritizing your schedule and start scheduling your priorities. On the left you have a clock widget, an area to add your student ID and a section for university, personal and work. Let's start at the top and add a new class called psychology. We're going to select the semesters for this class, add a cover and click on the template button. This template button will load all the necessary databases filtered to this specific class. Let's say we have a coding exam coming up. Under assessments we can add the coding exam and click on the relevant template button to automatically add an icon and the type of assessment. Now we can select the exam date, the class it relates to and also the weight the assessment has for the whole year. You'll notice on the left it says how many days are remaining before the test and if we change the due date to tomorrow you'll see it updates as well as for today and also if it's past its due date. You're also able to see all your assessments on the calendar view. After you've written your exam, you can click on the checkbox to mark this assessment as done. If we now go back into the coding class and if we've added all the other coding assessments we have for the year, as you can see you have a grade calculator which shows the weighted grade and the total percentage you have for the year so far. The next section is for your flashcards where you can practice spaced repetition. For each flashcard deck you can have multiple flashcards inside. As you can see you have multiple questions and once you've answered the question you can click on the checkbox to reveal the answer. And based on how accurate you were you can select the performance of each flashcard and improve it over time. Once you've gone through each of the flashcards you can go back to the decks and set your start date. This will automatically move the next repetition date ahead with one day and when you complete the next repetition and check the first rep it will add another two days, the second rep adds another five days and then the third and fourth rep each adds another week. This spaced repetition sequence is based off of the forgetting curve and will help you retain a lot more information over a longer period of time. As for the rest of the repetition tracker, you also have a view that shows all the repetitions you need to do for the day, as well as a view with all your flashcard decks grouped according to their class. The next section is for your to-do list. Here you have a view for your daily tasks, as well as a view for each of your different subjects. All you have to do to adapt these views according to your own subjects is go into filters and then select your subject. When you add a new task to your to-do list, you can change the status of the task and relate it to a specific class and assessment. The task will automatically be marked as done once you change the status to completed. Then you also have a priority matrix where you can select whether or not the task is low, medium or high effort as well as low, medium or high impact. And depending on what you select, it will show the priority of your task with the low effort and high impact tasks at the top and the high effort and low impact tasks at the bottom. Then at the bottom of the dashboard you have your task calendar where you can drag your tasks around, easily create a new task on a specific date and visually see and plan your day, week and month ahead. Now for the different sections on the left. Under University you have a page for class content where you can select the type of class, the class it's related to, the topic of the class content and also add any relevant links like websites, recordings or Zoom meetings. Inside the template you have quick access to your flashcards and assessments, you can scan and upload material from your textbook or upload handwritten notes and you can also write down some notes of your own. You also have a list view showing all of your content grouped according to their class. The next page is the assessments database which is exactly the same as the one on the home page. So we're just going to move right to the flashcards page which is divided into three sections. Classes, decks and flashcards. The classes contains all of your different subjects. The decks is where you can create new flashcard decks and is exactly the same as the one on the home page. And then the flashcard section of course contains all of your flashcards. The last page under the university section is an area for you and your roommates. On the left you have a section showing when you have to pay rent and how much each of you are paying as well as the number of the property manager and an area where you can upload your lease agreement. 
and on the right you have an area where you can enter in shared usernames and passwords for everything you use together and then also a rules section. You have a house rules page where you can list out all the rules when it comes to the kitchen, quiet hours, cleaning and hosting parties and then you also have a page for shared expenses if any of you are combining your money to pay for things. Depending on the amount of people living together, just go into the formula calculating the amount per person and then change the three to however many of you are sharing expenses. At the bottom of the roommate page you have an event calendar where you can use the template buttons to add any events, parties, club meetings or social gatherings that you are attending together. The next section is for all your personal pages. You have a habit tracker which contains multiple habits as checkboxes as well as a quick bullet journal to start and end your day with the right intention. If you want to know how to set up a recurring template button and connect your habit tracker to a line graph that updates and visualizes your habits automatically, then check out my dynamic habit tracker video included inside the toggle. I've also included a finance tracker allowing you to track your income, expenses and subscriptions. Simply add a new income with the amount, a date, a bank account and an income source. And then in the second view you're able to see all your past income grouped according to the month. Then on the right you have your different income sources where you can add an income goal for the month which has a progress bar that updates automatically. After each month just drag the sources into archives and then click on the template button to create a new month. If you want to make changes to your sources then just make sure to do so inside of the template button. As for the expense section, it's exactly the same as the income section except you don't have a monthly income goal but rather a monthly expense limit so you can manage your budget. At the bottom of the finance tracker you have your different bank accounts where you can add your current starting amount and the bank balance will update automatically. Then you have your subscription tracker where you can add new subscriptions, select the amount, the bank account and whether or not it's a monthly or yearly payment with the monthly and yearly cost formulas updating accordingly. You can also add a renewal date for the subscription for it to show up on your calendar so you can easily see upcoming payments and after the subscription is due just extend the renewal date ahead one month and add it as an expense. The third page under the personal section is a bookshelf where you can add all the books you're currently reading or still want to read. You can track your progress by adding your current page number and the amount of pages in the book. You can add the author, select the genre and also add a link if it's an audiobook. The bookshelf has a view showing all the books you're currently reading, a Kanban board showing the status of your books and also a view showing all the books that you've finished. The last section is for everything work related. I've included a page for job applications so you can upload your resumes or create your own and you have a table where you can easily keep track of your job applications. I've also included a YouTube workflow for anyone interested in growing a YouTube channel. You have a workflow keeping track of all your videos where you can change the status, add a topic and a publishing date with a template button that loads everything that you can possibly need for creating a video. And you also have a roadmap at the bottom where you can list out the goals you want to achieve by a certain subscriber amount. This dashboard is designed to feed your focus and will help any student save more time and be more productive. If you want to take your studies to the next level, click the first link in the description.